Hi again. Okay, this haul is like the haul that I've been so excited for, for it seems like forever. Um, it's my Mac haul. I got ordered some stuff online, went to the store, got some other stuff um, that I was scared I would miss in store. Um, actually, it's kind of silly. The only thing I got online this time was the pink popcorn lipstick. Um, and this is a haul from all three collections, the Real Sexy, um, an Extra Dimension, and the Tray Chic. And I can't find the pink popcorn. Um, that's the only one I got online because I thought that it was going to be my favorite and that it would sell out so quickly in the store, so I bought it online. Um, it's kind of silly that you get the big box no matter how much you buy from MAC. I mean, at least it's like well packed, but... Oh well. Um, okay, so on with the haul. It, it's great. I'm so happy. Um, I got all four lipsticks from this collection. I had Watch Me Simmer from the, um, the previous collection that just came out maybe a month ago. There's Watch Me Simmer. And to me, the one I got from this collection and the one I got before are exactly the same. The little lot numbers on the bottom are the same, which makes me feel really good because sometimes there's like little changes that happen. Um, but I finally got to back it up because in the previous collection, I could not, the shop cook, I could not back it up. They were out. So I only got one. So I got a backup. Even though it's really bright, I find it to be a really wearable color and I really, really love it. Um, real sexy, I'm not so sure about. Um, it's more orange than Everhip. Um, it's kind of similar to Flamingo, but a lot more opaque. Um, Flamingo that came out with the Iris at full collection. And then Heroin, I thought I was going to skip until I got to the store because it looked like this dark, scary, vampy purple that was not me at all. Um, and it's a matte, so I expected it to be extremely opaque, dark, and that's not the case at all. It ended up being like a really lighter purple, almost just a tiny bit darker than Playtime that came out with Quite Cute. And then here's the pink popcorn. And it, it's, Watch Me Simmer is my favorite from this collection. Pink popcorn is okay. It's a typical luster, so it's very, very, very sheer. Um, here are the swatches. And it's pink popcorn, Watch Me Simmer, Real Sexy, and Heroin. And see how much lighter Heroin is? swatch than it is in the tube which I was really really happy about so I got it I don't think I'll wear it like every day but it's something that I will wear occasionally um still not dressed up still in a hoodie just playing around with makeup today um so excuse like the mess I'm just too excited with all my stuff and I don't really have that much going on since it's a four-day holiday weekend um I only got two eyeshadows yesterday the rest of the shadows that I'm interested in are Havana, Grand Galaxy, Blue Orbit, and the Modern Pewter. I couldn't remember that one for a second. I got Sweet Heat and Young Venus yesterday. The rest I'm going to pick up at an event next weekend. Um, here is the texture of the shadows, what it looks like. They are really, really soft very very shimmery apply like crazy good like better than any shadow i've ever had before um there is this like intense sheen with these it looks like they're going to be super metallic but they're not necessarily super metallic um the young venus has like this really interesting like duochrome pink color i'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but that's it right there. Um, I love it as a highlight color for the tear duct area. Um, the Sweet Heat, I thought I was going to skip it because a lot of people were saying that it was identical to the skin finish that was released in this. Superb. Um, not so much in my opinion. I think Superb, the texture is a little bit different. It's almost a little bit creamier. Um, it still has the same imprint as the shadows, but they're almost the same size well the pan and the, and the packaging is the same size as like 
the mineralized skin finishes, but I think there's a little bit less product in it in these. But to me, Superb is a little bit more pink than Sweet Heat. And for me, it was worth it to have both. And this is Superb, and this is Sweet Heat. And in person, especially in natural light, I can see a difference. Um, I'm sure that not everybody will, but I like them both. I also got the Whisper of Glit of Guilt. Um, it's a more goldeny color. And I think it's going to be a great highlighter. Again, like when you first swatch these with your finger, they look crazy shimmery and like they're not going to be wearable. But that's not true. Um, I have it blended up here. There's the Whisper of Guilt. There's the Superb again. And these are more blended out. And you can't really see them that much. They're just a fantastic, great highlighter color. They really, really scared me at first, but there's not really anything to be scared of with them because you have to blend them out there. You can't just like, you know, swipe it on with a brush and expect that to be the color that it's going to be on your skin. Um, I, they had, I usually am not a big fan of cream sheen glasses, but they had the coolest cream sheen glasses that I've seen in forever. Um, I got the private screening, the peachy color, and I think it'll be a great everyday color. Um, Cine Style, the lavender one, I love it. I think I'm going to get that one at the event, though. And Star Quality will probably be one that I actually back up because it is, like, the same color in a cream sheen as Watch Me Simmer. And that's not blended or anything, but when I've blended it out, it's like a hot, corally, pink, fantastic summer spring color. Um, probably my favorite cream sheen glass ever. Um, haven't seen anything in a color like this and so love it. Um, okay, the blushes. Oh my goodness, the blushes. Pink Cult was re-promoted. Magenta was out. I skipped Magenta. But I loved Pink Cult from Genius. It's like a great everyday blush. It looks like really gray on there. Um, but it's not. It's, it's not gray. It's like a neutral pink that I think would look great on just about everyone. It doesn't wash me out the way I thought it would. Um, and I love it. And I'm glad that they re-promoted it. And then the Tray Chic blushes. Or Tray Chic. There were six of them. And I got all six. I did not think I was going to get all six. I thought that I was going to only get a couple. Um, the one I thought I would absolutely skip is Modern Mandarin. And this is it. And it is not the scary orange color that I thought it was going to be. It is a fantastic warm color that's sort of like the color in Marine Life. Um, very wearable. It also, like, if you, if you have ripe peach, there's the darker color. Reminds me of this, too. I love it. I will back this one up because this is my, probably going to be my go-to blush for this summer. Um, and I really, really love it. Um... Immortal Flower is the hardest for me to work with. It's like a tiny bit lighter version of the Modern Mandarin. Um, it's a very light colored peach blush. It doesn't seem to have the color payoff that I was hoping it would. I thought this one would be my favorite. Um, but you really have to pack on the color. And I'm fairly pale. Um, so it's okay. It looks really good with the Modern Mandarin as a highlight with it. Um, I'm still glad I got it, but it's just not the favorite that I thought it would be. Um, Peony Petal and Love Cloud. Peony Petal I thought was going to be really bright. And it's not. It, to me, on me, it's a more muted color. Um, it's still very, very pretty. The color can be built up on this one. Um, Love Cloud is the, my favorite pink out of the collection. It is just a fantastic color. I absolutely love it. If I was going to back up one of the pinks, it would be Love Cloud. Pink Tea is just okay. Um, it's a very pale blush. It's like a watered down version of Pink Cult. Um, 
it's a good everyday blush. I think it will be a good highlighter with the Love Cloud to use like two of them together. It's really weird that I've been doing that a lot, but I like the look of using those together. Full of Joy I thought was going to be exactly like um, Sakura from Quite Cute. It's a little bit different, um, and it's cool to have a lavender blush because it sounds really weird, but there are days, especially in the winter, that I like the lavender blushes. Um, it has great color payoff, and it's a frost, and I'm pretty sure that the rest of these are all satin finishes. They are. Full of Joy is the only frost, and the rest are a satin finish, and I really like the satin finish. It is so nice on the skin. It applies very well. Extremely impressed as a whole with the blushes. There's a couple that I wouldn't repurchase, but I'm glad that I do have them. And they are going to live in this. I got this from MAC as well. So um, I might do a tutorial when I actually depot them and put them in their new little compact home in their palette. The other thing that they have out right now is some new Prep and Prime stuff. And I'm getting older. I'm in my 30s. And there's certain things that start changing and the skin is one of those so I got the skin smoother I have not tried it yet um, I can't wait to try it I was really intrigued by the moisture this was like $30 the moisturizer is 40 and I want to wait and try it at the event before I get it um, each one of the blushes was 20 the eyeshadows were 20 the cream machine glasses were 20 and I'm pretty sure that the lipsticks were 14 50 each um, so that's my haul for right now. Um, I love these products. Um, Mac did great. Super happy with this collection. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of the swatches or anything else, feel free to shoot me a message. Thank you for watching, and I hope you hauled some goodies from Mac too. Bye.